If you've been burnt by a rogue builder or an untrustworthy tradesman, uh, this video will explain some of the comebacks you may have as well as ways to prevent that from happening uh, in the future. Uh, so maybe you've paid out all the money or maybe you've paid out some of the money. Um, but the first thing is obviously to get invoices, receipts, uh, receipts should I say, uh, don't pay cash, use a bank transfer. Um, but one lesson I learned very early on is it's all, it should always be buyer beware. So don't expect that you will have some comeback. Expect the worst case scenario and that it's buyer beware. Um, because you do have consumer protection agencies, but they may not be able to help you. I mean, in some instances, they may say, well, if the product is faulty, but you've got this from a tradesman or a service. Um, as I understand, they only go up to a thousand euros. So if you've paid over that, um, you may not um, be able to claim anything back. Um, you could go to the small claims court, which I think is under a thousand euro as well. But there's a lot of time consumption taking up, taking up there and a lot of effort has to go into resolving that. Um, so, you know, the consumer protection agency may very well say that well it's a private it's between two private individuals and um, so there's not much that um we can do um but here's a sneaky little secret that i think a lot of merchants know but the consumer doesn't know is that in a lot of cases the amount of money it would cost you to go to court if you were to try and claim back some of your, of your money or possibly all of your money, or the court or the, 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 the judge in question might not even um, decide in your favour. So a lot of time, resources and money to try and get your money back. Uh, and a lot of companies know this. Uh, so a lot of people give out to me when I'm making decisions on a big purchase. Um, but I don't rush these things. I take a long time because I'm worried that, you know, it might not work out. Um, and I've been burnt before myself in the past as well. So I tend to, if I know I have a project coming up in them, you know, I won't decide now. Like I might have something that I'm thinking of doing for maybe six months or a year, maybe even longer. But I always keep my ear to the ground. And if I'm looking for a, whether it's a plasterer or a painter or a, a carpenter, um, uh, I'm always on the lookout for someone who might know someone. Uh, and if a name comes up uh, more than once, twice, three times, well, that means that I might be able to trust them more as opposed to just doing a quick Google search for a tiler or a plumber and that review, I see reviews and I, I'm happy with what they've seen. That's just a very quick snapshot of what's there at the moment. Um, so I've also left a link in the description, uh, just an explanation of how to find trusted uh, and reliable tradesmen as well. Um, one comeback you may also have is to go to the press or to threaten to go to the press because every company... And every tradesman, every sole trader will want to maintain their uh, professionalism. They'll want to maintain uh, their uh, reputation. So the last thing they want is to see a story in the press about negativity, about uh, a product or service their company provided. Again, there's a link in, this, in, in the description of a previous video I've done about doing up uh, a press release. If you do a press release, um, I would recommend doing a draft one. Um, and with a press release, there's always generally the five uh w's who where what when why um, and be as descriptive as possible but send it on to the actual company and say i'm going to do up this press release and it's going to go out uh, and i'm giving you the chance to reply you never know the company may very well come back and say look we want to sort this out let's have a chat and come to some a reasonable conclusion that works out for you and that works out for our um business as well um but you know in a lot of cases you know, the best thing to do is, if it's not too much money, is to take the loss and move on. Because you could really burn yourself out. A lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money, um, trying to chase a lost leader. Um, and, you know, move on, learn from the experience. Don't let it happen to you again. Um, because you could spend a lot of time and energy into that negativity versus putting it into positivity trying to find a new builder or a tiler or plumber or whatever the case may be learning from your mistakes don't pay out all the money maybe put a deposit down put down 10 or 20 percent deposit if they will maybe do it when all the work is done um so i hope that helps because a lot of people have gone on to me about um being burnt in the past it's not a nice thing to hear um and so if you have found this video helpful um, please like, subscribe and share it. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Okay, folks, have a nice weekend.